Hughes Omnes, and welcome to this short video, though not exciting, on clauses, and in particular, subordinate clauses. Subordinate clauses are basically just these phrases that add information to our main clause, to the main part of the sentence. They're just like big adjectives, and we're going to look at five types that we've been working with so far this year. First, we have relative clauses, which can answer where questions. So, if Mr. A says, I'm going, where to? I'm going to the place where you live. And we would show that with ubi. Or, I'm going to the place to which you mentioned, quo. And I'm going to the place from which you came, unde. Okay, so you can see that these Latin words, ubi, quo, and unde, are going to introduce a relative clause that gives us more information. The main clause is, I am going, or I'm going to the place. The subordinate clause will give us more information. Relative clauses can also answer who questions. So if Mr. A says, that is my cousin. Which one? The one whose chariot crashed. Okay, well, whose chariot crashed is extra information. It can't be a sentence by itself. The main part of the sentence is, that is my cousin. So, for these here, for whose and to whom, about whom, with whom, and all of that stuff, um, we will look at the relative pronoun chart on the next page, and this whose could actually be of whom, the chariot of whom crashed. And of course, this is a pretty big chart here. You'll do well to have it with you at all times. The English is not very helpful because it's exactly the same in the singular as it is in the plural. Now we go on to our second type of clauses, second type of subordinate clauses, the temporal clauses, which answer when questions. If Mr. A says, I'm going to Athens, when I'm going, when I grow up, as people prepare for the Olympics, after I finish college, which is shown with, a, with which is indicated by the word postquam. So again, I am going to Athens, or I am going, that could be a sentence by itself, but the temporal clause is answering the when question. It's giving us more information. And this tricky one here at the end, as soon as I have enough money, simulatque or just simulac. Causal clauses, and I realize there are lots of words here to remember, answer the why questions. I am going home. Why? I am going home because I am exhausted as I'm tired. Look at these quad, quia, quoniam, ut. We use these all the time in English too, right? Because of this, or as that, or as a result of, or due to. Number four are the conditional clauses. These answer the questions that ask on what condition. Mr. A says, we will stop fighting. Mr. B says, well, on what condition? We will stop fighting if they declare peace. There's your C. Unless they escalate the war. Even if we do not get what we want. But only if, or but if, all hostilities stop. Okay? This is a pretty big category, whether they order us to or not. Siwe, siwe, which is also sometimes su, su. Okay? 
These are the conditional clauses. There are a lot to learn in Latin, but there are a lot in English also. And finally, comparative clauses. These help us make comparisons. You two are similar. In what way? She wakes up late, as you often do. There's that oot again. Her hair is long, as yours is. And there's quam. Okay, so these are used just to make comparisons. We look for these yellow words, yellow in this video, to tell us when the next clause is in the was uh, starting. So you may be asked on a quiz, how many clauses are in this sentence? You would answer that by saying the number of verbs that there are. We have stabo and stas. Two verbs usually means there are two clauses. And how do you know where the other clause begin? the subordinate clause begins? You look for one of the words we just talked about. By the way, you can pause this and see if you figure, can figure out what it means. I will stand in that place where you are standing. And it's exactly the same in English. I will stand, there's one, and you are standing, there's your other verb, and there is the beginning of your clause, your subordinate clause. Okay, that's it. Hopefully this was not as boring as some of the other ones I've posted. Have a great day. Walete.